Telltale recently has made the news again, and not for positive reasons. If you didn't know, they just released their first game back after bankruptcy, and already they've ran into another debacle. So let's talk about it, alright? So I recently reviewed this game, The Expanse, on the channel, uh, the first two episodes at least, and as I said, it's not really, it wasn't really my cup of tea. There were things that the game did well, and there were things that the game did not so well, and overall it just kind of came out to be a lackluster experience overall. Telltale released a statement stating, Due to current marketing conditions, we regrettably had to let some of our Telltale team go recently. We did not take this action lightly, and our commitment to storytelling and finding new ways to do so remains the same. We are grateful to everyone for their dedication along this journey, and we are working to support everyone impacted. All projects currently in development are still in production, and we have no further updates at this time. So it goes without say that this is a very very bad sign so early after their relaunch of the company. I mean look, I wish I could sit here and pretend like I'm surprised about this, but let's be honest, The Expanse was just not it for the company. Slow plot lines, slow character movement and development, an overall very predictable and hard to follow story in the sense that you're kind of just sitting there letting it wash over you. They tried to have some new mechanics added, but again, this is the wrong time to to be trying to revolutionize what your games used to be or what the Telltale games need to be. I'm just gonna come out and say it. The first game that these people should have released is The Wolf Among Us Season 2. Let's be honest. Listen, it's one thing to have your entire audience asking for something and kind of understanding that and taking more time to work on it. I understand that portion of this. But if we think brass tacks, if we think business for just a moment, the company right now needs money. It needs funding. It needs, it needs ways to provide for the people that they have in the company. The only way to do that is to produce a title that you know is going to get attention enough to generate income. The Expanse being the first game that they decided to produce was just the wrong decision, and I'll tell you what happened. They produced The Expanse, they put a lot of time and effort into it, they marketed it as hard as they possibly could, they pushed it down all the right avenues, however as people did not really like the game, and word of this spread throughout the gaming community, people stopped buying it, and the income generated was just not enough to keep their company afloat, at least not with all the people that they have on it right now, or You're used to have fired. on it, I should say. It's also worth noting that this does not exactly inspire, I don't know, excitement when it comes to The Wolf Among Us Season 2 and how it's going to turn out as a game. All I'm saying is that usually when it comes to projects of this size and that have been worked on for this long, when there's a lot of assets being thrown around, a lot of people moving around, writers moving around, it typically affects the product considerably. With all the mumbo jumbo that happened with with the expanse and all the layoffs that have happened in its wake, I'm afraid that The Wolf Among Us Season 2, although it is confirmed to still be coming, may land somewhere in the bad games category just because it wasn't focused as a team. Will we shed a tear or two? Uh, so I think so. However, how you play the game actually would affect this. Hmm. I'll say that. So you might shed a tear, maybe you won't. Depends on the decisions you're making. And speaking of teams, it's worth noting that the lead developer for The Wolf Among Us 2 stated that weeks after Telltale let off all those people, they acquired a UK-based studio named Flavorworks. I looked into their stuff, and quite honestly, I'm now terrified. Their main game is this title named Erica that's an interactive film video game, you know, like one of those YouTube videos you click, you like, interactions with, and it just, it's not inspiring anything hopeful for, for Telltale as a team. I'm worried, but I'm also just praying that The Wolf Among Us Season 2 doesn't get stuck in development hell, as I've spoken about before, that is an awful place for a game to be, and fingers crossed they get this all figured out. I'm gonna end the video here, uh, I know it's a short one. I have been very busy lately, so expect a couple of short videos for the weeks to come while I work on other things. I promise I'll be back to normal length videos as I get less busy. Go ahead and try to show support to Telltale where you can and you know I don't know donate to them thank you for watching if you like the video like the video subscribe if you want to subscribe and here's the fade out I'm fading out now I'm going now I'm gonna I don't know play the walking dead again to remind me of telltale and their glory days so here I go I guess